So, yeah, another video. To all you fine Lathians. Lathians. Lathians are hobby metal workers that work with the lathe. I just made that up. Anyway, uh, I think we deserve a special class, so. Anyway, taking my little surface sander, grinder, finisher, and using it to sharpen carbide end mills. <laughs> Light away so you can see a little better. Come on, focus, focus. Focus for me. Anyway, oh, there we go. With this little jig, made out of cast iron and steel. You can see you've got your angle for the flutes. And you've got the leading edge sharpening angle and the back angle. You can just place it on the magnetic vise, like so, or like so. So you can sharpen dull carbide bits. Ooh, that's sharp. Wow. That is sharp. Uh, little 
diamond wheel, a little two inch diamond wheel on an arbor with some backing. Uh, not simply just washers because they tend not to be real exact unless you make your own precision washers. You might get a little wiggle out of this, but that runs pretty true. So, you got your inexpensive drill press. I would suggest you buy the WAN 8 inch. It's a lot better drill press than this tool shop. I had one once, gave it to a brother in law, like an idiot. And he sold it, which makes him a bigger idiot. But anyway, uh, the Wen was a pretty smooth running drill press, that little 8-inch Wen. And you could go 10-inch. I never tried the 10-inch, but I'm sure it's just as smooth. Anyway, uh, the inexpensive cross-feed table, milling machine table, whatever you want to call it. 30 40 bucks the magnetic chuck vise uh, like I say about wish shipping is about 110 I made the block for sharpening um, why is it sitting so oh, it's because of that okay I don't have it on right now I'll put this on again uh, anyway, about $110 for that. Made the block for this. Pretty simple to make. Uh, bought this, uh, I think, for around 50 And my carbide end mills, I get oh, solid carbide end mills. Uh, just as an example, 3 eighths of an inch, I probably get about, oh, they run about 50 cents a piece from the recycling businesses and if you go through them you find some that are too damaged too badly damaged but I do have another block that I made this one is out of maple and steel and it works just as good it's all epoxied together this is for grinding end mills flat for recondition So, pretty simple way to sharpen end mills, pretty accurate. Uh, you can buy these blocks, I think they run about 60 bucks, maybe 100 bucks. But, uh, even at that, when you start buying carbide end mills, solid carbide end mills, you're going to make up that difference real, real quick. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gave you some ideas. Uh, this little drill press, grinder, finisher, multi-purpose little machine has really proven itself to be well worth the money and adding accessories to it like this just increase its versatility. I hope you have all a good day. See ya.